Hi, as you know, in the new version of MeshLab, the biggest change has been the uh, almost total rewriting of the uh, loading and rendering uh, of the 3D models, uh, because everything uh, was essentially brought on the graphics card. So uh, every time that you load a 3D model, data will uh, be uh, put in the graphics card, and this uh, uh, ensures uh, much higher performances. And so from now on, essentially, the limit of the amount of data that you can load and handle is uh, mainly related to the amount of graphics uh, memory that you have. So uh, in the mm, bottom right corner of the interface, you have a feedback about uh, uh, the percentage of the uh, graphics card memory that you are using at any time. So every time that you load a 3D model, this uh, percentage should uh, become bigger and bigger. And you should also uh, be able to know in advance uh, uh, if you are really uh, getting to your limit. So, every time that you load a 3D model, you will have a feedback about how much memory is now used, so you see that you slightly increase it. I didn't load a very big model, though it's already 3 million faces. And uh, an important thing is that uh, if you are using this new rendering system, you will have this indication here, which is called buffer object rendering, so everything is working on the graphics card. So what happens if you are uh, loading a 3D model which is uh, bigger than the amount of graphic memory that you can uh, uh, use? Well, in this case, uh, the MeshLab would automatically switch to the old rendering system, which was only partially on the graphics card. And so, uh, you will have uh, the possibility to keep on working with the data, but uh, you will uh, experience the much slower rendering and all the uh, needed tricks that you had to uh, put in practice before in order to handle much bigger uh, 3D models. So, for example, let me open another uh, bigger model, like this one. This is uh, 10 million faces. And actually, I should expect that uh, uh, I have uh, enough uh, graphics memory card to handle that. But as you can see now, uh, here is written immediate mode rendering, so I'm not using my graphics card anymore, and as you can see, when I handle the 3D model, it's just uh, like it was before. So if I want to handle this, essentially the best thing to do is to switch to the point-based rendering where I can handle that, and then whenever I want to make something, uh, I can switch back to the visualization of the triangles. Well, essentially, why th this is happening, I have m m more than 4 gigabytes of uh, graphics memory and I wasn't able to handle 10 million uh, triangles. Well, this is essentially related to uh, um, a value that uh, you can change in the, the Tools Options submenu. So if you have a look here, here there are all the options related to handling the, the some basic stuff about MeshLab, there is a, already a tutorial about that, but uh, with the new version there are a few uh, more uh, variables that have been added, and in this case what you have to deal with is uh, this one, MeshLab system, max GPU memory dedicated to geometry. So uh, this means that in the current state if I have something that is, uh, in, takes more than 100 megabytes of uh, uh, memory, the, the system will uh, automatically switch to immediate mode rendering. Actually, if you have a look to your own version of MeshLab, you will have the default, which is 350, which uh, actually is much better. But uh, the best thing to do is to try to adapt uh, this uh, value to uh, the graphics card that you have. So, for example, if I have a 4 gigabytes uh, graphic memory, uh, well, essentially here I can write a much bigger number. So, uh, I won't write exactly 4096, I would like to stay in the order of 300, uh, 3500. And then if you save this value, and then you close, the next time that you will open MeshLab, then the new uh, mm, uh, limit uh, for loading 3D models will be the, the, this one. So if I just close MeshLab sorry, and I open it again, you 
here you can see that in the options now I have 3500 and if I load the model again this time it completely stays inside the graphics memory I have the buffer object rendering and I have my new rendering style so this uh, option that you find about the, the maximum memory is very important but the, it has to be changed uh, with respect to the type of hardware that you're using. This is very important if you want to take full advantage of the possibilities that the new mesh lab gives. Thank you. <laughs>